Yes, it's happening. I think. Maybe. Feel free to quote me on this. Now, Atlas leaked something very interesting yesterday. They leaked what looks like to be at least a part of the official Steam achievement list for a Double Summoner Raido game and accidentally plopped it on the Steam page for Nocturne's HD remaster. Now, prominent Atlas YouTubers like uh, David Castro RPGs and King Narukami have already made videos talking about this, and the natural conclusion people have is, of course, that this basically confirms that uh, both PlayStation 2 Rido games are finally getting the remaster they so desperately deserve. But I think there is a little bit more to this. Not only do I think we're getting remasters for both games, I think Atlas could possibly be working on a third game in the series by now. Just 16 years later, I know. After Soul Hackers 2 got announced, a sequel to an almost 20 year old game by now, nothing's off the table anymore. A new Raido game is not that unthinkable anymore. But why exactly do I think there is a third game in the making? Well, that's because I'm actually one of the like 12 people who played the Raido games, both of them. Not only that, I finished both games like 5 or 6 times at this point. The second game is my favorite SMT game aside from the Persona series. And now, looking at this list of achievements, something doesn't quite add up. I actually want to go through these achievements one by one with you guys today, so let's see. First one is gain Raiho as a demon ally. This is Raiho by the way, through the power of editing, in case you've never seen him before. He's just a Raido exclusive Jack Frost that's uh, mimicking the protagonist. And uh, he shows up in both games, so this doesn't really answer anything. Next is Valiant Hero. Now, some of these are very descriptive, like the first one, and others like this are just like vague phrases. I do have an idea on what these vague ones could be referring to, though. In the second game, the more demons come to like the protagonist through uh, using them in battle and such, uh, you accumulate proficiency points, and the more of these you have, uh, the higher your summoner rank becomes. And you get these cool titles like this for every rank you achieve. Here's a list of all the titles. Now, I can't find the title Valiant Hero in here, but we do have Local Hero, Gallant Hero, and Vigilant Guardian. So this could either be a mistranslation, or it could refer to a new game where we now do have Vigilant Hero as a new title but not quite definitive evidence yet because uh, other achievements like Taisho Swordsman, Urban Mystic, and Timeless Summoner are actual accurate titles in Raido 2. I can't find Unbound Summoner either. I don't know what that could be referring to. Forge All Weapons. This is another feature exclusive to the second game. Uh, register all demons in the double chart. That's uh, self-explanatory if you've ever played an SMT game. Complete a case file and complete all case files. Again, these only exist in the second game. They're basically side quests. Reach summoner rank 30. Weird that they choose to go descriptive all of a sudden here because 30 is the exact amount of titles in the second game. So if they followed the pattern up till now, they would have named this achievement after the highest rank, which is King of Summoners. Obtain the highest discount at Kanuya. Kanuya is the one and only shop in the game, and the more you visit, the higher the discounts uh, the old man running the shop will uh, offer you. So basically just shop a lot for this achievement. Next one is pretty similar. Kanuya Habitshu, however the fuck you say that. I just looked the word up and it means a frequent visitor. So this could either be referring to the same thing or it could instead be referring to the other part of Kanuya because this place isn't just a shop. In the basement, you'll find Dr. Victor. And if you played Soul Hackers 2, you already know who Victor is. He's the counterpart to Igor in the series, responsible for demon fusion. Now, this next one is why I decided to make this video, and is why I think there could possibly be a new Devil Summoner game in the works. The achievement says, learn all of Raido's combat skills. What combat skills? For those confused, in both Raido games, your MC doesn't learn any skills. You, you just mash square, you got triangle for your heavy attack, you, you got a gun, and you can dodge. That's all Raido could do from beginning to end. Your main source of skills and damage all come from the, the demons you have with you. So I think you see where I'm going with this. New game in the works, I'm telling you now. This next one, Dimensional Detective and uh, Lightning Blade over here, could also be another two new titles, but they could also be achievements for uh, finishing the second game's post-game dungeon, 
and beating the post-game boss, which I still haven't done to this day, by the way, uh, respectively. But uh, this is just a random guess from my part. And finally, here's another interesting one. Obtain the highest discount at Shin Sakai. This is the first achievement on here that for something you can only do in the first game, at least from what I can remember. It's, it's been a while. Shin Sakai is like a bar you could get uh, temporary status enhancing drinks from in the first game, but in the second game it's been reduced to a mere hangout spot. So in conclusion, if th this list could either be for a new exciting entry into the Devil Summoner franchise, I hope it is, I've waited for this for so damn long, or it could simply be a remaster for both these two Devil Summoner games that share an achievement list and have a horrendously mistranslated title for one of the achievements. Whichever one it is, I'm just excited for people to finally experience these underrated masterpieces. And let's hope this isn't like an Atlas employee pranking us or something. But that's all for me for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed this new setup I got. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing for more gaming content just like this. It really helps me out a lot. So until next... Uh, I can't even talk right now. Next time, guys. Peace.